Everybody, Goldie here, and we are running it back with Piper Niven, the Scottish powerhouse featuring the Piper's Power Ultimate Plate. Whenever you make four or more pyro gems, increase all of your gem damage by 100%, and your yellow gem damage by 500% for one turn. And it is an ultimate, meaning I can pair it with the Hunter's Medallion. Whenever you break four or more green gems, increase your yellow gem damage by 100% for two turns. We have a very beefy belt here. 30% gem damage on the preview strap. Two sets of Fury 2s. Got some decent yellow gem subsets, but as you can see, like, 873% to the yellow gems after all of these boosts. Not even taking into account the entourage. We're running the triple yellow. Choose a 6x5 to make into pyros. Breaks yellow when you... Uh, turns into yellow when you break them. Make random pyros into cross breaks. Bonus damage for every pyro gem. I have three different builds I want to show with this plate. This being the first. Going to run double yellow MP trainers, Kofi for the 4, and Cena for the 2 and 45%. A Hall of Fame taker, not maxed out yet, but getting 67-37 flat damage. And Striker Brawn for 25% more damage. This is build number 1 with the new plate. So for reference, our yellow gems are doing 51, our reds are doing 35, so we've definitely made these the primary color uh doesn't look like we have a big old swipe at the bottom which is going to make this a little lower but it's fine and pyro gems go out red gems go to 53 from 35 yellow gems go to 140 from 51 that's wild get a little extra bonus damage here because why not Make six random pyros into yellows. I wouldn't mind getting not a whole lot broken here. Um, just to see if I can trigger the hunter medallion and stack it. Okay, well, that's... Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. Eight mil turn one. Never mind. We don't need to worry about double stacking if we're going to do that. Ha! Huh. Feels like a Zoro video. That was a first take, too. Uh, let's go set up something else. Second build that we're going to take a look at brings in the submission double MP trainers, the abdomen crusher. Um, all of these are 7 MP, which is nice. It's friendly in feud lane bonuses. Uh, but basically, the plan here is to double stack with the Rhonda's Jacket plate. We're doing double MP, Kofi, and Steel, sticking with our yellow gem damage. And then the Rhonda's Jacket plate, whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your yellow and black gem damage by 100% for two turns. So the sub, not necessarily getting recycled here, but the damage should stack up enough that it's not necessary. So start with the submission move. So the yellows are doing 59. Again, not a lot of good swipe options on the bottom row, but that's totally fine. Put the pyros out. Now we're doing 148. That was friendly. Let's do that. Six point seven. Ooh, and she's gonna kick out. Rubs hands. Bet. We're still at one forty eight. It's supposed to be a one turn buff. Okay. Listen. 
I won't say anything if you don't say anything. Jesus. Uh, it's a 12 mil on turn three. That's wild. Not sure if that's entirely intended because it does say it's for one turn, but listen. You can't say she sucks now. Let's go set up one more build. Last build is a tri-color. We're going to incorporate the stun move and the choose red. Double MP trainers, Kofi for yellow, steel for green. Hall of Fame taker still for the yellow jam damage. And needing the MP on a match, I'm using X-Pac. I do have plus one from Tour Perks as well. You can use NWO Hogan at 26k and that would get the desired effect as well. And then for the belt, we're using the heavy machinery plate. Whenever you break three or more yellow gems, get three green move points at the end of your turn. That is going to help recycle the choose move. All right, so you're gonna start by putting out your pyro gems. Mm hmm. Let's go there. Use the cannonball to give yourself a three match and set up a four match. And then we can just kind of place these wherever. Go ahead and hit the stun move. And then take your four match. If you want, you can place one of the red gems um, on the other side of the four break just to help ensure you're going to get the stun. But if they kick out, you're loaded. So three different builds with the Piper's power plate. Definitely, definitely a huge change for her. Something she needed in terms of damage output. Let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Again, the plate is whenever you generate pyro gems, um, increase all your gem damage by 100% and your yellow gem damage by 500% for one turn. Let me know in the comments who you think the plate would really benefit. I'm immediately thinking Rosie, Hall of Fame Triple H, maybe revisit Trickster Snoop. Um, it does affect all your gem damage by 100%. Maybe Hall of Fame Snoop with the drip plate. Lots of options here, I think. But thank you very much for taking the time to watch. That is how we run it back. Deep.